The Lord be with you. And greetings from the road uh, once again. And as you can probably tell just by what's behind me, we have made our way after I think so far about 3,500 miles of driving. Uh, Sharon and I were counting up 11 different states and some time with our kids. Uh, more on that another day. But uh, we're back now in the Republic, back in, uh, in the home of John and Emily. John serves as principal of Epiphany Lutheran School in Houston. So uh, the Lone Star State is, uh, is uh, underneath me and uh, behind me. And it really ties in well with what we just heard this past week in our epistle reading from Ephesians chapter 4. I thank you, Pastor Harris, for encouraging us to dive deep into the book of Ephesians, one of my all-time favorites. And, and here in the first section of Ephesians 4 is one of my favorite passages as well. So today, um, walking worthy as one is my theme for our devotion this day. And I invite you to hear again Ephesians 4 verses 1 through 7. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Let's think about the what and the how and the why <clears throat> that uh, unfolds for us in this Bible passage. First of all, what it is. Paul says, walk in a manner worthy of your calling. We all have received the call by the grace of God, bringing us into his body, the church. So we, the church, walk with Christ, walk in Christ, walk one in him. And every single one of us is urged, is encouraged by God himself to walk in a manner worthy of our calling. It's an encouragement to sanctification. It's an encouragement that as we are walking with Jesus and walking toward Christ and our heavenly home, and we're walking with Christ day by day by the power of his word and sacraments, we're also to be growing and walking like Christ. And how we do that, Paul says right here, in humility and gentleness, with patience, Bearing with one another in love, kindness, gentleness. In other words, loving and forgiving the way that we are loved and the way that we are forgiven. And the why of that? Because God has called us to it. We are one in Him. He is the head. We don't call the shots. We don't pick and choose who we're going to love or forgive or show grace to. Grace has been given to each one of us by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we walk worthy as one when we rejoice in that, when we revel in that, and we continue to walk and grow deeper, stronger in faith and in glorifying him who has made us one. And it's the power of our one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, that we do that to his glory and in his name. I invite you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, light of the world, we thank you that you have called us to be yours, called us to be one. Bless us as we grow in that calling, that we may continue to walk in a way that is worthy, a way that glorifies you and edifies each other. Jesus, we pray this in your name. Amen. The Lord be with you. I look forward to being with you later in the week.